Hello and welcome. Today, we will be talking about the saga of Garner's champion, Chinaman Rom. Chinaman was born on the yard of R. Abernathy on November 29, 1977. He was one of three pups born to Abernathy's Molly and sad by Wood's trouble. Molly always seemed to have three pups. This time, there was Chinaman, Boy, and a female who would be named Onyx Lady, who went to the owner of Trouble, Dr. Wood. Boy would end up in the hands of G. Wright, where he would win three matches. Chinaman was raised by R. Abernathy, and when he came of age, he was placed with Dr. Wood to find out what he was made of. After a short stay, Dr. Wood shipped Chinaman to Vincent Bob in California to make up for an earlier prospect he had sold them that failed to live up to expectations. He arrived full of hookworms and roundworms, and weighed only 42 pounds, 4 pounds below his eventual best match weight of 46 pounds. Bob kept him on a long cable run, and tried to help him overcome his emaciated state. Chinaman thanked him by biting him, so Bob shipped him to Vince. It was love at first sight. Vince warmed Chinaman, and scheduled a roll for him. After a three hour drive, Chinaman was nauseated and dehydrated. He was pitted 10 pounds uphill against a powerful red dog named Champion Caesar, who proceeded to mop the floor with him. When the big dog tired, Chinaman went to the stifles and punched very hard. Even though he was still nauseated and underweight, he came up from the bottom to bite down and stop Caesar at 28 minutes. Chinaman's neck roll was into Doc, a highly respected wrecker. If he could hang with Doc for even 10 minutes, Chinaman would be worth a bet. Doc came out hard and slammed Chinaman into the corner and tried to trade with Chinaman. Big mistake. Chinaman hit the gut and killed the doctor in his own living room in 17 minutes. It was clear Chinaman was something special. For his first two matches, Chinaman was hooked into respected head dogs that some expected to weather the storm and challenge the killing, stifling gut dog. Like their predecessors, neither lasted to the half hour mark with Chinaman. For his third, a match was made with the highly renowned Gray's Hubcap, who had dispatched the famous Red Danger Dog in a classic two hour encounter. Vince and Bob traveled seven hours with their dog, and when they arrived, odds of five to one were being offered against Chinaman. The betting line changed dramatically after the dogs were released. Chinaman drove Hubcap into the corner of his back, and this is where the match ended 18 minutes later. Hubcap was a memory, and Chinaman was proclaimed a champion and best in show. Suddenly, no one had a 45, 46 pound male. Respectable dogmen avoided him like the plague. Finally, when he was 7 years old, some determined fellows bought an expert head dog from R. Jackson, just to take out the aging ch champion Chinaman. The dog from Jackson showed a lot of ability, but it wasn't enough to keep out an athlete of Chinaman's caliber. Chinaman worked past his defenses and curved him out in 38 minutes. This had been Chinaman's longest match, but the outcome was the same as always. He destroyed everything in his path. For all who witnessed his matches, Chinaman became known as one of the roughest ever and a true finisher. According to scientific tests, he had the air of a greyhound. According to all who saw him, he had the mouth of an alligator. He was very clever. He would outsmart slick ear and nose dogs and curd him out. He would finish straight ahead dogs even faster. Swapping out was his game. Like all the truly great ones, Chinaman's build was like a sleek, muscular thoroughbred. The Chinaman name appears in many of today's pedigrees. His contribution as a producer equals or exceeds his dominance as a performer. Among his better known offspring were Champion 8 Ball, Champion Cotton, Champion China Buck, Champion China Girl, Champion Stormy, Champion Missy, Champion China Rose, Champion Ninja, and Champion Croc. He had three sons, Broad Spore, Cottingham's Cotton, and Shockley's Header, go over a three hour mark on the same weekend. Perhaps his greatest contribution is as a pr producer of producers, as his son Frisco Rom has produced more champions and grand champions than any other living stud. Ever since, Garner's Frisco Rom has gone on to surpass Garrett's champion Jeep Rom 
as the greatest producer in history of the American Pit Bull Terrier. Thank you all for listening to this episode of Game Dog Saga. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more episodes in the future. I am just a fan and an armchair historian of this wonderful breed. This video should be treated as hearsay and has been fabricated for entertainment purposes only. Stay safe and scratch on.